Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, May 4th, start to say April. It's May 4th of 2017, and uh, it's almost 5 p.m. Well, the Republicans in the House have finally, uh, in the House, passed a bill to repeal and replace Obamacare. Now, of course, it still has to go to the Senate, but the Republicans are just so happy. I mean, it's a little bit sickening. They're just so overjoyed. What was it, 68 times during the time that Obama was president? Uh, at least they voted to, you know, repeal it in the, the House. Of course, there was no way they didn't have enough votes. Or maybe they did actually have enough votes to vote. Because all they were doing was just, let's, re you know, repeal it. And uh, they had no, they knew it wouldn't, that the president wouldn't sign if the Senate... And they also knew that the Senate would not pass. It was just a thing that they, a thing they went through. And this is, uh, you know, uh, Donald Trump said uh, first thing he was uh, going to do when he became president was the first thing would repeal Obamacare. Uh, so uh, they haven't accomplished it, but they're close. And it just makes me sick that they are so overjoyed and so happy over, over, you know, doing that because uh, if this does pass, we should still be calling it, you know, Obamacare because they're keeping some key parts of Obamacare. But what they're doing, of course, is... Uh, cutting the funding out from underneath it. They're making changes that will, on the one hand, we ought to all continue to call it Obamacare, just to stick our finger in their eye, just like, oh, you know. But on the other hand, they're, they're doing damage to it, attempting to castrate it or neuter it or uh, render it uh, where it won't work. So then when it starts really hurting people all of a sudden do we want to do we want to keep calling it Obamacare because then people would be saying Obamacare the cost went up so what the Republicans are doing you know they're keeping some of the things that they had to keep or the American people would really <coughs> and so they can say well we we you know we kept the thing where it covers pre-existing conditions uh, we kept the thing where your children can still be covered till they're 26 or something like that. And we kept, the, you know, so they can do that. But what they have done, if this passes, is a tax reduction on wealthy people. And that money will come out, was there for helping with this, with health insurance for everybody, with Obamacare. So what they're doing is they're taking that money out. Like you have a big building and like you have the Trump Tower and you uh, say, oh, we're not touching the Trump Tower up there. You know, they're still the hundredth floor or whatever. Uh, but we're going to remove the foundation. Or we're going to, oh, we're only removing the foundation for this building on one side. Something, something like that. So, uh, I don't know. I think we should just keep calling it Obamacare just to stick it to them. On the other hand, uh, this is really going to, because everything they're doing is in order to destroy it, and Republicans just don't want the American people to have, you know, health care. If, if you get sick, I mean, the people that have money, and of course that's not Trump's core supporters. His, his core supporters are not, I mean, there's not that many wealthy people. Of course, they're funding it, and the Russians apparently were helping the Russian government with, you know, his campaign and whatever, but uh, the his core supporters are 
Well, probably his core support, not probably, his core supporters are born-again fundamentalist, you know, Christians, which blows my mind. I cannot believe that, that he would have, I mean, he got so many, that group of voters is like for the Democrats, the the blacks. Uh, I don't know what the number is. The blacks, 80% or 90%, vote Democratic. And it's the same with the fundamentalist, born-again Christians. For Donald Trump, you know, 80 or 90 percent of them are voting for, you know, voted for Donald Trump, which I don't understand because of his thing about he has a big hand, so he has a big penis, and his grabbing a pussy statements, and every, you know, everything. But still, and going before the, uh, what uh, was it, Falwell Junior's church and college, going before them, and he got the you know the Bible verse so wrong that the students out there who were I'm sure being watched, who were being who were ordered to be there, and I'm sure like was well, sort of like. North Korea, they're being watched, you know, in North Korea, you, you have to cry if something happens to the great leader, and you have to be happy and if you see him and whatever. I think it's the same way at the, at the is it Liberty Bible College? The students, are, I think, were being watched to make, and you know, to make sure that they plotted correctly and whatever, or there'd be repercussions. Uh, thank God, or hopefully not as bad as North Korea, but... Uh, they uh, so he couldn't get the Bible. He got the Bible verse so wrong that those students laughed at him. And then there was something else. That, and then there's time that he was being asked. You know, like Sarah Palin was asked uh, when she ran. You know, what uh, what newspapers do you, and you know and do you read? And she couldn't come up with a the name of a newspaper. And some other questions that she was asked, like you know. Well, he was asked for, uh, what's your favorite Bible verse? And he couldn't come up with one. So, I don't understand their support of him, but he's got their support. But uh, Now, his support has not been, <clears throat> President Trump's support has not, he isn't losing any of the, the people who voted for him. Although I would think he's losing some of the fundamentalists born again Christians because they're basically good people. Unfortunately, they appear to be good people who, uh, you know, don't believe in science and who don't believe in statistics and have some of the other, I don't, you know, problems that Republican hardcore people have. They hate teachers, especially university professors. Uh, hate unions, they, the right wing calls, they have their, like, the redstate.com site, uh, which, by the way, was, this site is, I would call it a hate site, uh, right wing hate site, but they were definitely not for Donald Trump. They ridiculed him, they were not for him at all when he was elected you know when he well when he was picked as the nominee they were not happy when he was elected they were surprised I think and appalled and shocked and they didn't say really good things about him and they're still not saying but now they've been trying to change a little bit because they're stuck with him but uh, what was I going to say oh that, that's what I was going to say I, this site, and some others, but especially I noticed with this one, because I, unlike you, I, sure, I am a, well, I'm a liberal, proud of it, I don't need to call myself a progressive, I'll stick with liberal, fine. Uh, <clears throat> the Republicans were very successful They've been successful with a lot of things, and 
one of the things they were successful with is they made the word liberal or the idea of being liberal, they made it like a dirty word, like it's a communist or uh, something like that, which, and so we have liberals who don't want to say they're liberal anymore, they're progressive. I'm a liberal, proud of it. Most of the people in the United States actually believe in, you know, liberal things. But most of the people in the United States, if you ask them, are you a liberal? Well, you wouldn't ask them if you if you want to do a fair, <laughs> a fair survey. Uh, you wouldn't. It would, if you asked them if they were a liberal, well, of course they would, they would say, you know, are you uh, in favor of liberal causes or of you know uh, right wing causes or or conservative uh, causes? Because that would actually mess up your score if you said liberal no not liberal not communist I, I'm not I'm not one of those people that believes in the communist government they have in Sweden or the uh, communist health care that they have from Canada so that would mess up your your survey so you'd have to say do you believe in progressive causes or do you believe in uh, conservative causes and most of, most of the people would say in the United States, probably uh, not conservative, but then when you ask them on the issues, you know, do you do you believe in uh, Medicare? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, do you believe in uh, Social Security? Oh yeah, definitely. Social, I believe in Social. When you go down to things, <laughs> they are, you know, liberal or progressive. But anyway, like this site must have their. Uh, word processor set up so if they're doing a story or an article on uh, and something about unions you know well the unions are protesting or the it's uh, they type in you know a, a uh, union members it changes it to uh, you know union thugs and if you're same with you know uh, uh, you know Joe Blow uh, union president uh, it would change it Joe Blow uh, union uh, thug, you know, president. So childish. So, what's funny is they're supposed to be, we're supposed to be the conservatives, Republicans were supposed to be so anti communist to a crazy, you know, hilt of, uh, but they use their tactics, front groups, front organizations. Fox News, which pretends to be a news thing, but is, uh, I'm not sure if Fox News is the front group of the Republican Party, or if the Republican Party is the front group of Fox News, but uh, in the days when communism existed in the USSR, now Russia, uh, their news broadcast from Radio Moscow or uh, Radio Warsaw or wherever it was. I mean, the, the reporter couldn't. The reporters couldn't say they had to. They couldn't say um, American State Department or they couldn't say uh, United States Defense Department. They had to. You know, it ha they they had they had to put uh, uh, their phrases. You know, the anti, what would it be, or the or the imperialist United States, or the the, the imperialist State Department. Uh, uh, today, the uh, United States uh, aggressive War Department uh, increased their spending. I mean, it was they had to do all that. So, if you were listening to him, you had to sit there. Okay translate it to, and that's what the Republicans were able to do with social, even, you know, not just, not just liberal, but socialism. Nothing wrong with socialism. It's not uh, really probably for the United States uh, because of our history, our traditions, and our constitution, the way it's written, but socialism is okay, but they made socialism the same as communism and 
they then succeeded in making being liberal the same as communism. So they've been, they've been successful in that. Of course, they had years and years, you know, and, and to do it. And back before the collapse of communism, I was blogging and saying, you know, we really here in the United States need to come up with something to prevent the Republicans and the right wing from saying that uh, capitalism, it's capitalism versus communism, you know, because that is going to hurt, you know, it's going to hurt us uh, if they do that, or as, as they're doing it, and uh, sure enough, you know, it should have been, it's democracy against communism. It's uh, freedom versus communism. It's the American, you know, our American way of life opposing communism. But they made it capitalism. And capitalism isn't, isn't good. Uh, now, since you've been brainwashed with capitalism, you know, is Americanism and the flag and, you know, red, white, and blue and apple pie and all that kind of stuff. Capitalism is inherently not, not a good system except for Donald Trump and the hierarchy, the princes, you know, the super elite. It's not good for workers. For the proletariat, let me use a communist word, you know, it's because that's a, that little niche that, you put, that they have been able to successfully put people into. Uh, so anyway, Republicans are going to be rejoicing. I I wish you know I wish I could wave a magic wand. These I don't know. This is not the picture. I saw one where here it is. Okay, here's the picture. Don't know if this picture is going to enlarge or not. Okay, no, okay, it just, ch you know, changes, whatever. But there was one, and there was a Vice President Pence or whatever that was, I think it was in the Rose Garden after this, the vote, and Trump was, you know, he finally has a victory. Finally has a victory. Well, I, I actually, I think it's a defeat for him and for the Republicans. And, but then you see Pence is so looking, you know, he has to look, you know, so happy, and probably is happy because finally they have a victory. I think it's going to be a, a defeat for them. And the only way they'll learn the lesson, but even then I don't think they will learn their lesson, is if uh, in the 2018 election, if the, if Congress would just be, if the Republicans in Congress would be just absolutely devastated if they would lose control of the Senate and the House and we would have a, you know, a Democratic uh, uh, Congress. And I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, that that will happen because the way the congressional, the gerrymandering of congressional districts and I think I talked about that in the past. I won't go on except except to say that I think it's 38 states are controlled by the Republican Party. They have a Republican governor out of 50 states. They have a Republican governor. They have a Republican-controlled legislature. And the legislature of the states are the people who decide the boundaries of congressional districts. And so when the Democrats were in control, or if they are in control, of course they didn't, they weren't as arrogant. You know, they weren't like, you know, that's the way, that's way the Republicans are, you know. The, the uh, family values, you know, it's fuck you. We're doing it, you know, the Democrats were like, well, we're going to be kind of sneaky and we'll make this district here and make sure this stays Democratic. and draw the line here, okay, this, we can get this district, I mean, well, we got to give them one, so we'll draw this big old area here and put in all the, you know, the Republicans in this one, you know, do that. But the Republicans come in, 
a man when they took over as they took over. So they made these districts where it's just about impossible for a Democrat to win it because they've highlighted, you know, okay, these are the ones who always vote Republican. These are the ones who have the money. This is the uh, KKK compound where they have their voters here. That, that <laughs> they, you know, they drew these districts that way and with no shame. But then they could always say, well, the Democrats did it, so we're just doing it. But that makes it almost impossible, even if no matter what happens, you, there's those people and those things are people who always vote, always voted Republican and just are not going to, just can't bring themselves to, you know, vote for anybody else. So I'm not sure what's going to happen in the 2018 election. But going back to this health care, what the Republicans have, you know, done is they're, they've sucked out, you know, the, the, the thing was designed, Obamacare was designed and to help hospitals, to help doctors, to help people. Now, this doesn't affect me. Uh, you know, I'm on Social Security and Medicare. This Obamacare should have been like Medicare. Uh, but they, they couldn't because they couldn't get it in. They, they got one or two or three Republican votes is all for it. But uh, it was designed, okay, you know, this is to help hospitals because they have people going to the emergency room who just can't pay for the services at all. They have no insurance. They have people who aren't going to the hospital when they need to go or going to the doctor because they can't afford to go. And then when they go to the hospital, they have major, major problems that could have been taken care of if they had just had, you know. So all the layers and the structures of this thing, and then, okay, these, okay, we're going to tax these people up here who have a lot of money and put that money into helping in this area here. We're going to bring this money over here that we get and put it in here and do all this stuff. And then, of course, also the plan was the Re Democrats thought that you know, the states would, you know, we're going to give money now to the states and they're going to set up state insurance agents, you know, a, a uh, state insurance things to take care of that. And the, and the people that are in Texas, they'll be able to get their Obamacare from the Texas exchange and the people in Missouri from the Missouri exchange, the people from Alabama. And this will spread out and it'll, you know, spread things out. You know, the Republican governors for the most part, finally the Republican governor though finally did have to, for his people, did have to set up an exchange. But what happened is the Republican states, the governor said, fuck you. So it fell to the national level exchange, which was never really intended. That was to be, you know, there if needed if some state for some reason didn't want to set up an exchange or whatever, then the people could go to, you know, that, that ex exchange and deal through that. But the Republicans from the very beginning did everything they could to sabotage health care for the American, you know, people. And so now we're at this point where, the, where they have, we have the structure, by the way, the American Hospital Association opposes uh, doing away with Obamacare. They op they're opposed to this. The American Medical Association, the Association of Doctors, oppose this Republican plan. They want to keep the Obama. Now, Obamacare, were there problems with Obamacare? Yes. And what we should have had happen is for the seven years that Obama was president, if the Republicans had said, okay, well, we, you know, we didn't vote for Obamacare. We don't like Obamacare. We think there are things wrong with it. But here's what we want to do. The Democrats would have been more than happy to say, to make changes to make Obamacare. So we had seven years of the Republicans just voting to repeal it 
and refusing to do anything because they didn't want it to be successful, because they didn't want Obama to be successful. In the beginning, when he had his first term, they want, they 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 said it. We're going to do everything in the world we can to obstruct uh, the president of the United States and to make sure that he's a one-term president. And then when he was re-elected, then it was, we're not going to cooperate with him one bit. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that his uh, time when he leaves office, that, he, it, that people will say that it was disastrous and, and that he didn't do any good and that he didn't, you know. And so for seven years, actually eight, if you, you know, from the very beginning. But for seven years, it was like, we're not helping in any way. We're doing everything we can. Every vote, everything we do, every hearing we hold, everything will be in order to destroy the presidency of uh, President Obama. But who did it? Who does? It, who did that hurt? Who did that waste? The you know money, the time, the sixty-eight he hearings, the uh, uh, ben Benghazi hearings, everything. So anyway, I talked. I said more than I intended to, and but I just wanted to jump in because everybody else is going to be jumping in here in forty-five minutes. Uh, PBS uh, won't be having the news hour. I'll be interested to see what what they talk about and what they say. And I gave you my two cents. By the way, now that I pissed off a whole bunch of you, I will put a link underneath this to Amazon. And if you use that link for something I and buy something, I will get a commission. And what I'm going to be, and I'll be explaining a little bit to this in other videos to you and putting links and things. I want to, for two reasons, I want to in, increase, I get almost, I could show you that. Well, I'll do that some other time. Uh, I get almost nothing in commissions from Amazon. If I could increase that that is coming in, I would start giving away uh, in, a, in a contest like every month to some viewers a small, you know, a small thing. I already decided I think what the first one I'm going to do is. but. What I need to do is have the commission that I, and then I have a goal set that if I can increase it to a certain amount, $500 a month. If I can get commissions from Amazon coming in at $500 a month, I'm going to do, well, one, give away better things in the contest every month. But, and it, this doesn't cost you anything. I'm not asking for a, a for your joining Patreon, and I'm not asking for you to send money by PayPal. Uh, just asking you when you are getting ready to shop on Amazon, and I shop all the time on Amazon, is just use one of my links. I need to come up with a better link. I'll come up with, uh, I'll be doing that too to make it easier for you because I know that's the thing. You want to buy something from Amazon and you just type in Amazon.com and you go there. But if you could just use one of my Amazon links, go there. You don't have to buy the product that it links to or the page that it links to just as long as you're logged in. Then if you go buy something, I would get. And uh, I guess I'll tell you, just don't tell anybody. Uh, I enjoy making videos, as you know. I've got over 700 videos. And when I was in Miami, I made quite a few videos. And in Miami, I made quite a few walking and talking videos. And I made some walking and talking videos here. And a lot of you like, you haven't seen any 
from you in a while, a long time. A lot of you liked them. I like making those too. And I like watching other people's videos like that where they're someplace, even in foreign countries or whatever. And I, I can, you know, they're walking and talking or whatever they're doing, even driving sometimes. And I like looking at the businesses and the signs and the people and the flowers and all that kind of stuff. I would like to make a lot. I would like for like walking and talking videos to be my little niche. But I haven't made any, you know, because you've already seen me walk to Walgreens a number of times. You've all seen me walk down to the donut shop or uh, Subway a number of times. And what I want to do is move to Washington, D.C. area. And then I'm going to be, then I would make walking and talking videos of what's going on in Washington, D.C., of the, the area, the businesses, everything. But I've been looking at prices. I really, in order to be able to do that, would need to have about $500 more a month coming in. And if I get that, I will be moving to Washington, D.C. And so that's my goal. I don't know if I can make it or not because it's up to you people to use the link. Uh, but it's up to me to make it available, to explain it to you, to make it available to you so that it's easy you know, uh, uh, at the end of my videos, have maybe, or during the video, have a link saying, please, you know, use this link when you're purchasing. So it's up to me to do a lot of work to get that in the right place for you. And then, of course, then it's up to you whether, you know, whether you want to do it or not. But, um, I'm setting a goal of 10 months. I'm going to try to get this done, but I don't think I'll be successful at it because I know it's a lot of work for you. I mean, it's so much easier just to type Amazon.com and go there. But maybe you could put a link in your browser uh, on your start page or if I could get you, but that's a little bit of work for you too. And, but I know from my point of view, it's a lot of work to do get all this done to explain to you to encourage you to put the links where you can get them and use them and whatever and it's going to take a lot of work and you know me I don't like to work that much I, I, I don't have a script never had a script for the 700 videos I uh, you don't see many links in my 700 videos there's not very many links there's not very many links that say, uh, go to watch this other video of mine or, or go, you know, that would take some work. There's not generally a thing at the end of the video that pops up and says, oh, by the way, don't forget to do such and such. And it takes work. I no script, make the video, upload the video, uh, very little editing. I'm going to have to do work, but I think uh, I would really enjoy being in the D.C. area because I was there for a couple of weeks and making videos in D.C., of D.C., and of the people that are in D.C. and of the stuff that's going on there every day. So if you want to help me, please uh, click my Amazon links and uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not going to edit this video. That would be work. But I've got to start editing videos. Um, oh. I, I forgot this was on there. This, the, this design bars or whatever. I forget what they're called. Oh, two. One reason I would like to uh, bring in some more money is I want to get a 4K camera about, oh wait a minute, Amazon, 
No, Amazon. No, I want to go to Amazon. A list, that's it. Wish list. Here's the, I mean, I would, I would like to have like a thousand dollar one that, uh, but this is the one that can do. So this is a camera I would like to get five hundred dollars. So uh, this is what I would like to take to Washington D.C. with me, and it does have interchangeable lenses, so I could, you know, this is a fourteen to forty-two millimeter lens on this but uh, so uh, okay now that I'm here okay earnings this is Amazon and uh, payment history um I started making commissions from Amazon in February of 2009. Now this is for each month. You can see how much, how much I made each month. You know, here I made $24, almost $25. Next month I made zero. Um, $19, $10, $34, and, you know, here you are. So here I made, what, $42. Long way from 500 21 And last month I made uh, $19. So I have a long way to go. And... Uh, Here you can see in commission in the last uh, seven days, I made $5.15 on the 1st of May, and I made $3.08 on the 2nd of May, and this is the 4th of May. I think this probably stats are not in for that yet. So, uh, So that's it. Uh, I don't think it's an unreasonable goal. Uh, so if you can help me out, help me out uh, by using a one of my Amazon links. If you see a link underneath, usually, if it's an Amazon link, I get a commission. Sometimes there's an Amazon link where I don't get a commission. But... Uh, if you can, pitch in and help. Thank you very much for watching.